Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and we are here at the IGOR exhibit, that's the International Guild of Realism in Tempe, Arizona. I am here visiting with Don Clapper, the A founding guild member. Welcome. Well, thank you. Uh, th thanks for uh, coming and uh, this is our opening night. This is the eighth annual International Guild of Realism event and it's truly our biggest ever. I keep saying that every year, but it really does get bigger. So. Uh, we're really excited. We have 107 paintings from uh, 93 award-winning artists from literally all over the world. We have an artist uh, from Norway. Uh, we have an artist from Hong Kong. We literally, uh, artists from Iceland, uh, several members from Canada, and many, many from the United States. But it's uh, an amazing exhibition. It's going to be up for two months, all throughout October and November. So uh, if you haven't seen it, come on out and see it. It's going to be uh, up for a long time. So. Well, it's here at the Tempe Center of the Arts, which is just, I have heard such wonderful comments. How, how exciting is it to have the art exhibited in this beautiful facility? Well, you know, it truly is. I think it's one of my most favorite art facilities, not only in Arizona. It's one of the prettiest I've seen in the country. Uh, the architecture, the colors, the neon lights. Literally, uh, it's just a wonderful venue. It's almost like a Hollywood movie premiere opening uh, with all this excitement. Last night we had a VIP private opening with a red carpet and uh, it was just well attended. And uh, it's just really a fun, fun facility. Uh, it, you know, our paintings are such high quality. It's great when we have it in a venue with high quality lighting, high ceilings. Uh, and it just really showcases the paintings that much more. So. Oh, it's just a wonderful exhibit. You should be very, very proud. Well, well, I am. We, we've been going for 10 years, and uh, the quality and the creativity just keeps going up, up, up. So. Well, thank you for spending time visiting with me. Stay there. Thanks a lot. <laughs>
people recognize the value and the artists that are in this organization. It's high class, top top artists in the group. And so it brings in the people, the buyers, and it's just been extraordinary. You know what's really exciting is that when we first set this up, we didn't know you won best of show. Complete ambush. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional ambush. I was very surprised. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Looking at your painting, I don't think you should have been surprised at all. <laughs> this is incredible. What's really incredible is that we talk about off camera your tremor. You got this late in life, you learned, you were doing other things with your life, and then. 21 years ago, I took a medication for 19 days, and I have this resultant tremor that. Um, put a stop to how I traditionally painted. I was a painter for um, all of my life. Uh, I went to art school and I did a lot of acting and other things while I was waiting to go to art school. <laughs> and um, then painted and had an idea of what my vision was going to be for the future. And then everything came to a grinding halt. And it came to a halt for about five and a half years while I had to relearn how to um, paint. paint. basically. Now, I was asked by um, a friend that uh, had I ever finger painted? And I went, yes, once. I didn't like the feeling. And you told me... When I was six, I actually really did love <laughs> finger painting. And Isn't that it wonderful? Was, it was memorable. It was just incredibly <laughs> memorable. But you know, I really think that God plants this pattern in your life and in your heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And He doesn't make junk. He plants something in your heart about what your future is, is going to be. It's sort of the blueprint. And when I look back on it now and I saw that I loved finger painting, I just said, Lord, if I can ever get my hand back and, and paint again, I promise I will never take it for granted ever again. And so you have, as you have mentioned in your bio, you have um, uh, five brushes. They just happen to be your fingers. Actually, I have seven brushes. Ooh. This is my biggest brush, and for, for this, I can do big areas like this. Um, and that's, that's this large area. And then I, then I have this little one on the end, and that's for small things. I don't really have too much small stuff in here, but right. this is my smallest brush. And then I use these two fingers and a thumb most of the time. And if I'm working on a large painting like this where uh, I spent a great many hours, I can wear off these pads pretty easily. So then I use these two fingers and a thumb. And what exactly has membership to Igor done for your career? It has made all the difference in the world to my career. It has really pivoted my career. It's, it's been a pivotal point to my career. And why would you say that happened? Uh, just showing with the caliber of artists that Igor accepts and recognizes and exhibits with is uh, just amazing. You and know. you won an award. Yes, I -dum -dum. did. Tell Best me about wildlife. that. Best wildlife for my uh, baby black swan, a signet. I'm just, you know, so fortunate how much they've really promoted me in this exhibition and touted me, you know, as the youngest member of, of <laughs> Igor, so they, they've teased me a bit. Um, but uh, they also featured me in the American Art Collector magazine, uh, which has really helped me as well. But um, just the, the possibility uh, to, to show my art uh, here at, you know, a beautiful place, Tempe Center of Art, uh, Center of the Arts, is just an incredible um, facility. And to be among all these amazingly uh, talented artist as only 18 years old it's it's I'm just really really happy to be here um, tell me what has the membership done the membership to Igor done for your career well it would take a long time for me to go <laughs> over in detail because uh, the uh, membership has uh, gotten me into numerous galleries uh, traveling exhibitions museums, uh, numerous publications, and really, I can honestly say that Igor has been my career. I don't know, I would still be a local artist, uh, admired perhaps within a, a small radius where I live and selling paintings uh, there and, and 
this has given me really a national and international exposure. <laughs> tell me, what does membership to IGOR? I know you're just starting, so tell me, why did you join IGOR? I needed more people to how to relate my work with, and uh, I, IGOR has been a wonderful experience. It's been an education. It's my first time here, and I have learned so much up to now. I mean, it's only been a few days, and I feel like a I've learned so much. It's been very good. Uh, every artist has been a wealth of information and I'm very grateful. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and I am here at the IGOR exhibit, the International Guild of Realism. We are in Tempe, Arizona. I am visiting with John Bo Paulson. Welcome, John. Thank you. How far did you have to travel from to get to Tempe, Arizona? Oh, that's a thousand miles We're from Oslo, Norway. Oh my goodness! Oh, how wonderful! Was it a long, long trip? Uh, Twenty hours on the plane with two stops. <laughs> oh, jeez! So, so I'm pretty tired. <laughs> well, you look fabulous for being so tired. Thank you. <laughs> I got to rest at the pool. <laughs> and you are a member of Igor. Is this? Um, tell me what that has meant to you for your career. Uh, well, uh, we've never been able to exhibit this wonderful place here without Igor, and I've been a member for five, six years. Mm -hmm. This is my first exhibition. One of the neat things about the exhibit is that the artists get to have time to interchange with each other and exchange ideas and and fun things, interesting things, maybe they'll learn tips. I'm going to pass the mic around and just get one thing from each artist who they met that was what they wanted to know or that they picked up one thing. All right, you get to go first, Josh. Sure. Uh, so um, being the, the youngest artist, just the support of all the other artists here, being able to network and uh, learn from other like-minded artists with, within realism, and also uh, uh, being from Canada as well, being here in the States, seeing such an interest in realism art, and also the Scottsdale Arts District too, which was such a huge education itself. <laughs> that was two things. One thing. Okay. <laughs> I and mostly a bird painter and I am learning so much from everyone but I have to say my dear friend Mary Jane who is now a dear friend of mine now has taught me how to do flesh tones so I'm very excited. <laughs> Hello I'm Barbara Rudolph and um, I think all the new friends I've met from this show um, have been very inspiring and I learned so much yesterday from um, Ed Copley about some of the secrets to painting, um, like the old masters, and I'm very grateful. Well, thank you, Barbara, I appreciate that. It's fun for me to be in here and to share ideas and methods with all of the artists. I just love doing that, and I hope they take something home that they can benefit from. I'm not sure I really have just one thing either. <laughs> However, um, the fact that there are so many of us here um, we all come from different, um, different um, backgrounds, different genres, different techniques, and all of a sudden you're hearing about not just other people's techniques, but how they do their business. So their business techniques have just been absolutely wonderful. So we've been having wonderful conversations about negotiation and how to do it. So that's been fun. Yes. True. Uh, Louise Daou from Buffalo. Um, it's hard to, to decide on only one thing that we've learned. Um, the business, the paint, most important, how to ship your art, uh, how to put it in the box so it keeps, and that was very, very a good workshop that we had. Thank you very much, Camille. And I'm Karen Boudin, and I say ditto, 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 <laughs> ditto, ditto. But above and beyond that, um, one of the things that I was hoping to learn from people, and I have, I've been picking their brains, is how they approach galleries and their relationships with the gallery. So between our session at the seminar and talking to artists, I've gotten lots of good tips, which is wonderful.